All right, let's get into robot robotic revelation. Yes. This is uh Troy, you've kind of become a guru for us on what the hell is going on with the robot High association. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so uh so this is great when like Troy's going to be on. Let's let's talk about some of the robots. So many companies are coming out of the woodworks right now because I think it's time. Just like AI on the other side of the equation of what's happening maybe in the zeitgeist right now in business and, and development. We see a lot of robotics companies. So I just wanted to kind of set some groundwork for everybody. We've talked about a handful of companies in segments before as we've been educating ourselves and challenging ourselves to kind of understand this landscape, meeting people and uh, figuring out this technology to some degree. So wanted to talk about some companies. We're going to mention some of the different categories they're falling into. I've noticed they've kind of categorized themselves. So that was, I think, valuable. We're going to mention some companies specifically that are, are doing a great job in that space. So this actually came from uh, Gordon Gotzigan with Built In said, 14 restaurant robots companies changing the food industry. So I'm going to break these down for us really quick. So it broke down into food prep, beverage production, food delivery, and food service were kind of four overarching categorizations of robots and i'll mention a few in each space so in food prep we saw creator the burger robot talking about burgers bread bot uh deck size albert sous chef robot picnic pizza station uh flippy two by miso robotics i'll let you uh, touch on that troy in a moment beverage production we saw cecilia's bartender uh costa coffee's barista bot chef b by blended and artley also had a unit Food delivery, Coco, who we've mentioned uh, on the show. I think people have seen that one cruising around uh, the uh, Santa Monica Pier. Starship Technologies, futuristic, man. Serve, Kiwi Bot, Valkyrie, Flyby. And then food service uh, was pretty busy in this space. A lot of units coming out there. Bellabot and Pepper by Robot Lab. Bear Robotics has Servi, Play-Doh, which Kyle saw out there in New York by United Robotics, Peanuts. We're going to see a little clip from Peanut here in a second. Uh, Rich Tex has Maitre D, and then Restaurant Brands International had a few things going. So hopefully everyone take a look into those companies. Those are the names you're going to see from the robot side, from the people uh, building these units, the companies building these units, because the robots are here. They're going to make a major impact on the restaurant industry. They may or may not be coming for your job. They are going to level up our industry one way or the other. So I think uh, the forward thinking in the group need to know, figure it out to, to whatever degree. Miso Robotics mentioned that because that's uh, that's your crew there, huh, Troy? Yeah, we've got some friendship and and direct connection there through through some association. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, they're they're absolutely one of the leaders and inventors of this category. Um, they're they're probably one of the most deployed uh, units uh, over a variety of brands and for different purposes. Chipotle is testing them on chips. Uh, it only makes takes chips, puts them in a basket, fries them, takes them out, puts them in the bin, uh, seasons them. Uh, they're actually working on chips and fries wings where they it will now they're working on getting it to take it out of the uh, let's just call it the strainer basket uh, or, or collected area into actually portioning into the containers or the baskets or whatever the delivery model is. Um, you know they're just killing it over there. Uh, the great thing I think about Flippy, and, and I think a lot of the companies are taking this mm -hmm. tact in, in some regard, is um, they're really building a partnership with these brands. These brands are buying in to understanding that, look, we're not just going to plug this thing and it's going to work perfectly day one. Mm -hmm. We're going to help inform you guys on how to tweak it, fine tune it, pull the levers, change things up. But the reality is, is and I had an operator ask me yesterday, um, at what point does a Flippy make sense for my business? And the answer right great now great is... Question. If you have an employee whose full-time job is the fry station, if you have a position at a fry station, four, six, eight fryers, and they literally spend their entire shift at that station, Flippy is the answer to that role. Yeah. Um, so, you know, don't want to highlight the idea of getting rid of jobs, but uh, on average, we've done the math. It's $10,000 less a year to own a Flippy than to have somebody there. But it doesn't mean nobody can not know how to run the fryer. Somebody always has to know how to run the fryers in case – they have an issue, Flippy goes down, the power goes out, who knows, right? Uh, you know, it takes time to load back up, whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in the space. A lot of those names I don't even know now, right? They're happening so fast. Yeah. One thing I thought was interesting in the space that was new is that the Bar and Restaurant Expo convention a couple of weeks ago is actually saw a distributor. First time I'd seen a distributor with multiple, I think eight or 10 at least, 
different robots, many of the which, most of the which you just mentioned, different they models. Were they were a centralized like sales team, right? They were actually able yeah, to look at your business and say, what can we bring a tool to you? What do you want to solve? And then they had multiple options rather mm -hmm. than I got to talk to Bear for this. I got to talk to so-and-so Absolutely. for that, right? They're actually, we're starting to see that's, that's a new, that's a new business in, yep. in our industry. You're going to have car dealerships for, yep. for the robots yep. because you're yep. going to need multiple assist layers. And that was the thing. You know, I kind of thought there was robots that cook stuff and robots that bring food out. But, but knowing and understanding that there's those categorizations and that there's potentially even more nuance therein, thinking about food prep, I was like, okay, is that one thing? Well, no, the pizza station does something very different than the burger bot does something very different than, right? And so each of them is specialized to some degree. And certain companies are working across multiple mediums. But for the most part, there's a certain technology that you're looking to apply. And so they are kind of pretty niche, right? And Somebody might need three different robots and uh, centralize. Well, yeah, and look, I, I think I think the entry level opportunity for 98 percent of restaurants, if you have a hard floor, which most do and not a carpeted floor of some kind, uh, the cleaning robots blew me away at bar and restaurant. Uh, there mm. were five or six of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, look, a lot of people have had the uh, I've got the <laughs> iRobot, you know, a, a Roomba at my house. Roomba. A, a two and a half year old. It's a lifesaver. You know, Kyle's got the Frenchie over there. Shedding yeah. hair and dropping bits out in of his a mouth. second so, in a second. Yeah. I think one of those things. Yeah, so I, I think cleaning. I think everybody should start looking at cleaning robots because I can tell you right now by walking in, I can walk past a restaurant if the door is open and tell you whether that mop was clean or not when they use it. Because that restaurant has that musty sort of unique Dude, smell, right? I've Kyle and I have it. talked about this. This you know the schnoz smell. is not just for show. I can smell dirty fryer oil from literally like yeah. six blocks away. I can smell the difference between which fabuloso they have from like the other side of town. <laughs> oh man. So I'm Purple, a, pink, I'm a big blue. believer in that for exactly. sure. We, we, we need clean robots, especially off the back of, of COVID as well. You know how much more aware people are of that. And a lot of restaurants have slipped back in quality cleanliness and sanitation practices. So something like that might alleviate that pressure because that's their job, that robot, to be able to do that. Uh, Vergi actually asked, Troy, you've seen what we do. You think it'll work for us? I think talking about centralizing some of the, the sales. Is that what you're talking about? No, Marie? she's at, I think she's asking about the fryer. They do they do so they do handmade two order um, uh, potato chips. They're phenomenal. They're incredible. Uh, go to their social media at Bomb Hoagie because there's a guy actually on their like uh, their security camera they put on there is like what are these? Where did you get these? She's like, oh no, we make those right here. Right here, I'll show you. <laughs> um, uh, love it shout they're out they're in a unique Bob position if they, get, yeah. if they get big enough and busy enough at that shop which they will they have a they have a second line they have a back hood and and we talked to Ezio uh, her her husband and and a flippy would work there because it's big enough you gotta you gotta have four to six fryers mm. before mm. Or something yeah. like a flippy makes sense yeah Bergie, if you're ready uh Troy will go ahead and curate your whole robotics line whenever you're ready. He's easy, got easy. you covered. All right, I did want to check out a, fun, a couple of videos as we were just scouring so, social media. So let's see this one here from Dowling868. Let's check out a couple of robots. <laughs> Maybe. Our robot's not working. Kyle needs. What a cute little robot. Don't block my way, please. Even Peanut is scared for their job. You hear that? <laughs> I can't get out of my way. I got to work or I get fired. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Let's go right, uh, People programming. Caitlin five kids had a good one, too. Do you just take it? Please take your food. Wow. Do you just take it? Please take your food. Enjoy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You laugh. He laughed. Oh, at you almost food. had it. You're going to be quicker than that. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. Uh -huh. that's, that's not funny. even like a boomer problem like that. That was pretty quick. That robot that's ran away. Quick. All right, uh, one last a one. Scale or something, a pressure pad. Uh, yeah, exactly. Doesn't it know that there's smart. food on there? I think that's how they're supposed to operate. All right, 
And poor Sophie, I'm I see fired. in the background, the butt, our robots are having issues. Don't worry, Sophie, we're rolling with it. Show us that last video. Oh, shit. I caught that up. Oh, oh there's fire. So you robots. better make sure if you get one of those food delivery robots, you also have the cleaning robots because if there's nobody working out front with you, I don't know what's happening. Are guests cleaning up themselves? J- Jackson, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta start a TikTok channel for just those videos. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you see the one the Jap- There's a Japanese restaurant that fully is fully robotic. The yeah, I saw it this week. It walks yeah. you through the thing. That's the guys that you can play games on them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a hotel where everyone, the reception and everything, were robots and stuff. So it's, it's interesting to see. I mean, Asia is is over a decade ahead yeah. of the adoption and development of this technology for sure, which is not surprising at all so that was uh yeah that was interesting i i ended up down a uh robot restaurant uh tiktok for like a good 35 minutes just watching that i was like this is like america's funniest home videos it was like just like blooper reels it was was great i went from learning about robots to just laughing at them (laughs) so solid entertainment people for sure if nothing else you'll have a great tiktok channel when you have these robots because people yeah. don't understand them well enough, so they, you know, they want to make fun of them. Which it's so funny to think though, like if the out. power goes out, what happens? That's really fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> you have one employee, two employees, and then yeah, two people, two two people are gonna be in the weeds for the next four hours trying to clear up checks with no credit card machine or lights. Well, I think that one ran away quick, or that one was going too fast to drop the uh, drinks because I think that's one of the issues that I have heard about is that uh, that they're too slow, that they get in the way of the actual staff that you have going. So I think they're going to have to find that equilibrium a little bit with mm. speed and efficiency and that balancing equation. They're figuring all this out really quickly at a rapid rate. So even if somebody's had a bad experience with one of them, wait six months because it could be a whole different oh, yeah. generation of you know 4.0 by that time so good stuff robotic revelation 